Hi friends, this is Tenerius Serge and welcome to the part number 13 of Cryptocurrency Statistical Arbitrage Tutorial. In this video we finally finish implementation of the Risk and Position Manager. So let's quickly recap what was done in this model. We are able to calculate when to trigger stop loss order, also able to request our balance from Bitfinex and we know how to use that balance to calculate position size. And in this video we will implement second position size in the rule. Position size should meet exchange requirements. As you know Bitfinex and all other exchanges have certain requirements to minimal order size. And if you attempt to place an order uh, smaller than required, you won't, be, you won't be able to do that. And Exchange API will return an error. So in order to avoid such cases, we firstly have to check whether position size meets minimal order requirements. Well, in order to get information about minimal order size requirements, we have to send symbol details get request. Unfortunately, it is not available in API version 2. That is why we have to create API version 1 object as well. And here is example of response. As you see, it has no input parameters. And response is the following. Array of objects, pair name, some other details. And here is what we are looking for. Minimum order size. So we need to loop through this object and pick minimal order sizes for all pairs we plan to trade. So let's import v1 client. We are in a trade.py and let's do the following. Let's copy the first row, paste, paste it here and instead of v2 we'll type client and as client. And let's create another object like bf x v1 equals to client. Good. And let's create a function check position sizes. So def check sizes. Let's call it this way. This function will have self argument and pair names, so pairs, and position sizes. As you remember, pair names and position sizes are both lists, so it would be easier to operate with them. And now we can request symbols details. So let's create variable details equals to vfx v1 symbols details. And in order to make sure that everything works fine, let's print this details variable. Print details. Let's save code and go to main.py and use this function somewhere in main.py. But firstly, let's go to the bottom and comment this event loop. We'll not need it during test. So we can comment everything. Okay. And let's use this get symbols detail function somewhere here. So let's type trade dot check. What was the name of the function? Check size. We need to provide list of pair names, so it would be pairs, and some list of uh, position sizes. For now let's use one and one. Okay, let's hit save and go to the terminal. Python 3, main.py as you know, and let's wait for the result, and here is our details variable. Okay, everything works as we expected. We have pair name and minimum order size. So we can move forward. Now let's try to match pair names 
from the argument with pairs names in the details variable. So in order to do so, let's create two loops. The first one would be for pairs, pair in pairs. And another nested loop would be for details variable. So for element in details okay now let's try to match pairs names if pair name pair equals to element let's take pair names from it convert it to uppercase upper then let's print pair print pair name and let's also print element and let's take minimum order size minimum order size okay let's add parentheses here Okay, now let's save and test this code. And here is our output. If we trade Ethereum against Bitcoin, our minimal order size is 0 0.06 Ethereum. And if we trade XRP against Bitcoin, we cannot buy less than 38 XRPs. Now let's convert these minimum order size values from strings to numbers and save them in some temporary list. Let's create that list. Okay, uh, min sizes. It would be empty for now. And here we'll do the following. Min sizes, append, and min order size, but convert it into float. So float, mean other size and let's remove that now let's compare position sizes with minimal order sizes so if mean sizes first element is less or equal to position sizes first element and mean sizes second element is less than equal to position sizes second element will return true so return true otherwise we return false okay finally let's use this check sizes function inside of the event loop I have uncommented and cleaned everything inside of main.py and now we can check position sizes right after position size calculation. So let's create a condition if trade dot check size. Here we need to provide list of pairs names and the first should be name of the pair where we open loan position so it should be pair two second one would be pair one and the second argument is position sizes okay if this condition returns true then we uh, can short spread now let's do the same for the case where we long spread but instead of pair 2 we'll type pair 1 and pair 2 here and also put all these changes under this condition great so how it works firstly we calculate position sizes then we check whether position sizes meet Bitfinex minimal order sizes requirements. 
and if these requirements are met, we proceed to order placement. Otherwise, we just skip the trade. Well, that's all for today. In the next video, we'll begin implementation of the final model, which is responsible for trades execution. Thumbs up if you like this video, subscribe to my channel if you want more videos, and leave your questions in the comment section below. Bye!